Attenuation is the decrease in signal strength along a fiber optic cable caused by absorption, scattering, dispersion, and bending. Attenuation is usually expressed in decibels or dB. As fiber optics is a light-based technology, there will always be attenuation or light loss the further light travels down the fiber. Knowing and understanding what causes this attenuation and how to best minimize this will assist in providing the highest quality installation. In this video, we discuss absorption and its main causes. Absorption is that portion of attenuation in optical fiber resulting from the conversion of optical power to heat. There are two types of absorption and they are intrinsic absorption and extrinsic absorption. Intrinsic absorption is very low compared to other forms of loss. The main cause of intrinsic absorption in the infrared region is the characteristic vibration frequency of atomic bonds. In silica glass, absorption is caused by the vibration of silicon oxygen bonds. The interaction between the vibrating bond and the electromagnetic field of the optical signal causes intrinsic absorption. Light energy is transferred from the electromagnetic field to the bond causing attenuation. Extrinsic absorption is much more significant than intrinsic absorption and it's caused by impurities introduced into the glass during the manufacturing process like iron, nickel, and chromium. Saying this though, modern manufacturing techniques significantly reduce the impact of extrinsic absorption. Scattering is a process whereby all or some of the optical power in a mode is transferred into another mode. It also frequently causes attenuation, since the transfer is often to a mode which does not propagate well. Two basic types of scattering exist, and they are linear scattering and nonlinear scattering. Within linear scattering, there are three derivatives. Rayleigh scattering, which is responsible for the sky appearing blue, me scattering, which causes light in front of a particle to be more intense than the light bouncing off, and waveguide scattering. Of these, Rayleigh is the dominant loss mechanism in the low silica window between 800 and 1700 nanometers. Within nonlinear scattering, there are two derivatives, stimulated brillouine scattering caused by the compression of the medium, which then changes the reflective index of the material, and stimulated Raman scattering. Of these, Raman scattering is the inelastic scattering of a photon by molecules which are excited to higher vibrational or rotational energy levels. Raman scattering is an important issue in dense wave division multiplexing systems. Dispersion is the spreading of light pulse as it travels down the length of an optical fiber. Dispersion also limits the bandwidth or information carrying capacity of a fiber. The two main types of dispersion are chromatic dispersion and modal dispersion. Chromatic dispersion is actually what causes rainbows. The sunlight is being dispersed by the water droplets separating the white light into the colors of the rainbow. Chromatic dispersion occurs when different colors of light or wavelengths travel at different speeds in an optical fiber. In order to counter this phenomena, the use of light sources that output only one wavelength is recommended. Modal dispersion occurs because some paths through a fiber optic are more direct than others. If one of the light rays goes right down the middle of the fiber, while others enter the fiber at angles and bounce from side to side, it's clear to see that the light ray going down the middle of the fiber has a significantly shorter path and will reach the far end considerably sooner than the other ray of light. This causes a data pulse to spread. The attenuation that exists when an optical fiber undergoes bending is called a bending loss. There are two types of bending losses, microbending and macrobending. Microbending is an imperfection in the optical fiber which was created during manufacturing. Unlike macrobending, the imperfection may not always be visible. This is a small scale distortion, generally indicative of pressure on the fiber. Microbending may be related to temperature, tensile stress, or crushing force. Like macrobending, microbending will cause a reduction of optical power in the glass. Macrobending results from large visible bends in the optical fiber that can cause a reduction of optical power in the glass. If a bend is imposed on an optical fiber, strain is placed on the fiber along the region that is bent. The bending strain will affect the refractive index and the critical angle of the light ray in that specific area. 
As a result, the light traveling in the core can refract out and loss occurs. To prevent macro bends, all optical fiber has a minimum bend radius specification that should not be exceeded.